if Ghana wants to actually develop as a powerhouse within the sub-region and in Africa, and with the introduction of AFTA, mm -hmm. then nuclear is the way to go. We cannot, we can no more waste time. We started this 1960 somewhere. Oh, I see. It's not recent. It's not recent. We have, we have relaxed because we had rainfall, and then we go back and say, yeah, let's relax. We have behaved like the vulture for a very long time. Whenever the rain stops, say, oh, we are going to build our house. And then the rains come again, and then we, we are found wanting. When the rains come, we are going to build a house, and then the rain stops, we are found wanting. So we have done this over and over again, and in 2015, we restarted this. And in the history of Ghana, in the history of the sub-region, no country has ever gone beyond where we have gotten to because we are, fa we are following a phased approach, the International Atomic Energy Agency phased approach. So we have gone beyond phase one and in phase two where we are looking to have a vendor okay, that will give us a plan. Let's slow it down here. So it's not as if we are opening up a conversation at the marketplace and asking people to join a national referendum on whether or not to go nuclear. We are already in one phase down. We are one phase down. As so a we've, country. we've moved beyond that conversation. We've moved beyond whether, so whether we, we like it or nuclear. not, we will get nuclear. It's not whether we like it or not, we will get nuclear. Uh, yeah, we, need, to we need the populace to go with, with us. Okay, I can get you. Yeah, because we need the public buy-in mm. of this power plant. We've, we've been holding a lot of discussions on nuclear, okay, not just true. now, but even... For